All right, we are back once again with the Zardom's Total War campaign as the Duchy of Athens. And I'd like to, once again, take this opportunity to thank everyone who is watching. Uh, currently, this is the most popular campaign on my channel. Um, it's actually staying popular all the way up through. Let me see, how many have I uploaded? Maybe 12 episodes? And it's been popular for all 12. So, thanks for watching. Now, we had a bit of a scare right at the end of the last episode, didn't we? But we managed to get ourselves out of trouble. What happened was, these two Florentine armies appeared here as if by magic, or as if by scripting. And then they declared war on me and besieged Corinth. Now, I think I had a diplomat, didn't I? Somewhere up here in northern Italy. And he managed to get a peace treaty with them immediately. So, that was good. So, be forewarned. Um, if you're playing as the Duchy of Athens, or if you're playing as anyone who captures territory down here, you can expect uh, the Florentines to show up and um, attack you. Now, they may still go to war with us, and I was trying to decide, because um, I was sending this army down to relieve Corinth before we got the peace treaty, but I was trying to decide whether to actually use them now to try to destroy these two Florentine armies. Um, because I don't know what's going to happen to them, because obviously they showed up uh, through scripting. So are they going to actually attack Corinth over and over again, or are they just going to wander off somewhere? We're about to find out, because I think we have to hit the end turn button, don't we? Ooh, there's more of those Cretan archers uh, to capture or recruit. Um, here's Crete down here. I think it's got about four settlements. I've never actually gotten here in any of my campaigns in this mod. But I'm pretty sure that Venice controls all of it by now. That's usually the only faction I see going down there. Um, I've sailed ships around here before. And the Venetians are the only ones I've seen around there. Now we've got those blasted Neapolitans. Uh, they keep going to war us, don't they? Right, right. We're going to try to get a treaty with those, so we can get away with them. Um, I was warned that there's a settlement over here. Um, right, that looks like a minor settlement. Yeah, uh, it's a fort, isn't it? But is that a port? Or is that a port? No, that's a monastery. Right, what's that? Maybe there is a settlement out here, but haven't we moved our ships past there by now? Um, I've got some ships somewhere, don't I? Yeah, they're up here. Do I have more ships? Oh, that will result in excommunication, so... No, 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 no. Um, are we going to risk excommunication in this campaign? I think I did the Austrian campaign where I just said, forget about it, Pope, we're not going to listen to you. Right, I'm going to move him away. But shouldn't we be free to go after them? Because they're blockading my port. So we should be able to get away with that. We've got two ships there. We captured Corfu. Um, we were going to try and capture that settlement because it belonged to the Romans, aka Byzantines, but the Neapolitans got to it. Right, if we get those, they'll be free upkeep at some point. Uh, we could actually put a couple of units. Uh, 192, 216, 202, 216. How much is that cavalry? Ooh, almost 800. Let's put a couple of those in there. Uh, did that upset them? Right, now, um, obviously it's slightly different, but we captured their fort and we didn't get excommunicated, but going after their port would have risked it. So those will be free upkeep. We've got a priest in there, but that should have been the same religion. Um, there's a lot of Greek Orthodox down here. Right, because I did want to use that whole army to go after that one. 
How long do we have to leave them alone? Blockade. Um, that settlement. But then we only get units. Five turns. We have to leave them alone. Well, if they keep attacking me, they should get excommunicated. Alright. So, do I try to build up a bigger fleet? Because the uh, Neapolitans keep coming after us, don't they? What can I get out of Patras? Can't, well, I can get one war galley. The Panto, I get three ships there. So let's move those down. That's your dock. Get those three ships. Ah, uh, we can only get two. We can get that one. We can get that one. We will be making some money. Do I need to move any of our diplomats? Or do I have any assassins? I've got a spy already up in here. Up in there. Uh, you're going to talk to the Bulgarians. Um, I've been advised um, to give a little money each time to the Venetians to keep them friendly and to offer some money to the Hungarians. The Hungarians up here they've got a massive amount of territory. Um, <clears throat> I've tried to get an alliance with them before but they haven't given an alliance. Our nearest neighbour, well, um, if you've got somebody near you, they generally are your neighbour, but we've got Serbians. Serbians pretty much all across here. If we had them as an ally, that would be a good buffer up here, wouldn't it? Right. So maybe we can offer a few thousand to the Serbians for an alliance. Depends who their enemies are and who our allies are. Now this is the campaign where my diplomats keep dying, don't they? Quite often. Or, yeah. I seem to remember I've lost several in the last couple of episodes. Alright, come on Knights of St. John. They've got troops in... Southern Greece, I think, as well. Now, I have to say, I don't generally see naval invasions in this mod. Um, I don't normally see anyone doing a naval invasion of Sicily, or of Crete, or of Cyprus. However, I've been attacked and invaded by sea quite often in this one, haven't I? So, they are. They've come back and they are attacking me yet again. Right, how are they how are they able to draw him out? Can't I turn it down or oh, refuse? Yeah. We are beaten. What? How are we beaten? We didn't lose a settlement and some of them have withdrawn. What happened to their big army though? Alright, so oh. We knew we do need him, Adrian Scales, <sighs> but he's got no loyalty, or well, not much. Uh, benefactor adoption. All right, I'll take him because I can always put him in a fort. And if we have a battle where we're going to lose it, I can always send him in so we can kill him off. Uh, Ibn Al Shatir has died. Great Arabic Muslim astronomer, mathematician, engineer, and inventor. Now, he's a busy little bee, as we would say in English. Yeah, probably a, no, never a dull moment in his life. Alright. Trying to increase. Oh, did he get one extra loyalty? Your loyalty has gone down, but you've still got enough. You're the one commanding that army. So, there they are. They come over there, but they are somewhat moving away. Do I try to get another peace treaty with them? See? 
Accepted. Now, they don't have any allies, but they do have one enemy. But if we ally, if they give it, that could mean that they won't attack us again. Alright, they just rejected it. Or if I give them map info. Alright, just rejected. Alright, uh, Cardinal promoted. Ooh, that's one of mine. Up there. Good. Hostilities have ceased. Alright, Florence and Athens. So we've got small farmlands there. We're not really getting many troops out of here because we need to upgrade that and that. Probably that too. This one's going to be more economic, I guess. Alright. <clears throat> now, I really do want to capture that settlement, but it's looking like the Pope is going to keep interfering. Are there any uh, ships out there? Right, they do have some troops in there. But again, I wonder if there's a land bridge. Nope. Could we just leave them there? Alright. There they are. But let's see what will happen. Nope. But if I come there, maybe they'll be forced to attack me. Uh, there's a lot of Venetian fleets out there, and I didn't. Oh, it's annoying when they don't let you join up like that. Same with that one. Right, do I have any more ships? Yeah, I do. Right, 200 there. Aha, uh -huh, more up here. Can you join up? No, nope, even you can't join up. That's annoying. None of them can join up. <laughs> Alright, well we've got more together and there are Phoenicians out there. Now, uh, two units of Corfu. So we've got this whole army now. If they move out of our territory, we'll be okay. But again, it's that Pope, he's annoying us. He's annoying. Where's my other diplomat? Alright, so we've got 5600. Let's see, 2,000. No. How many regions do the Bulgarians have? They don't actually have that many. Alright, how about four? Ah, oh, they're not going to go for it. Right, let's try to talk to the Serbs. How old is he? Right. Yeah, we've got Venetians all over the place. Um, that's my capital, isn't it? I can get a diplomat from there. I'm going to talk to the Venetians, even though we're allied to them. I'm going to try to keep on the good side. I don't want them turning on me. Right. Do I have extra troops? Not really. Okay, so you took over there. Uh, but you've got the title. Right. 1502. No, I didn't go up by much. Uh, 
I mean, you can't pass the uh, traits over. Right. You've got a lot more loyalty. Maybe they'll come out to attack him. Right. Let's give him some units just in case they come after him. Some cav. All of those archers. So they can put down stakes. Which will kill off most of that cav. And some pikes. I think that would be enough to take them on. Right, money is going to go up. Oh, somebody was moving to my capital. Must have been for retraining. Hmm, yeah, I haven't even taken a look in the game files for all the different scripts. Uh, that's kind of cheating, but um, it's up to you what you do with the mod. You can play however you want. Sometimes it's interesting to see uh, what the scripts are going to do. And then again, sometimes the scripts will cause uh, problems in the game. So you do in fact have to go in and try to fix them. But so far I have not had a single crash in this mod in the two versions I've um, tested. And that's in four campaigns on YouTube and two or three personal campaigns. So that's a pretty good record, isn't it, for stability. All right, looks like <clears throat> they are going to keep trying to do this. Now, he must have spies or artillery, but then when we withdraw, he just moves away. We literally get the chance to uh, not be captured. All right, we're going to have to go and deal with that army. That script is just going to keep forcing it. The Googler War. Never heard of it. Oh, yes, English and French knights. who went around uh, killing people because they didn't get paid. All right, once again, back to war. Right, let's go and find some Serbs. See if we can get an alliance with them. Right, yeah, they have a civil war going on at the moment. Ah, not going for it, are they? Not going for it. Alright, so we'll talk to the Florentines, not anymore. Alright, I'm sure they're going to come back and attack again. Not happening. Maybe in a turn or two, we'll... Alright. So we've got those ships then. Let's send one up here then. Now there's a settlement on this island, a Roman settlement, but I don't know which Roman faction holds it. Because there are two Roman factions. Oh, intercepted yet again. Do we have any enemies around here? Of Ragusans. Yes, my lord. All right, so they've just got a fort there. Looks like. Why don't I? Oh, yeah, you're blocked, aren't you? But you're not. Why don't I sell you down here and see who is down here? All right, see, there's a Venetian settlement. 
I'm sure they got more than one settlement on there. Um, I think there's a settlement over there. Alright. Get that diplomat out. Right, I'm going to regular tribute. I forgot how much I was uh, recommended to give. But 50 sounds fair. Accept my gift. Alright. Okay, well, go after them then. Right. Yeah, I don't know why it seems like he can automatically attack the settlements. All right, he's got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got a very powerful army. That's a powerful army. Of course, that's why it's scripted to be like that. Yeah, we'll make this episode a little longer because you deserve it because um, a lot of you are watching this campaign. So thank you for that. It's very nice, especially at this time of the year when the channel actually slows down a bit. And as far as the number of views and subscriber growth. Ooh, that's a nice monastery there. Alright. Uh, yep, Skynet. Now all of those put down stakes, or well, they should be able to. Probably not if they're on the road though. Yep. That's going to leave a little opening, isn't it? Maybe somebody will come right through that road. There's a few little gaps there now. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. You've deployed, you've deployed, you've deployed, you've deployed. You haven't deployed? Oh, yeah. Mm. Maybe just covering the flank. Right, we've still got a couple of crossbows right there. Some javelins. Now I think even though we're attacking them, they will come towards us. I think so. Yep, they are. My reinforcement is coming in directly behind. Not killed anyone. They are being very aggressive including their general. Right, get out there with the javelins. Actually, I'm going to send him very wide because I don't want him accidentally running back through there. I think that unit who's coming in behind is like a militia archer. Could be wrong. Actually, where is he? Oh, he's all the way over on the other side. Yeah, I think that's who I'd put in that fort. Now, didn't they have some uh, crossbows? Yeah. Now, they're going to be able to outrange my unit. Oh, apparently not. How come we're already firing all the way from back there? Even you are <laughs> apparently firing. Look at the range on those javelins. Go on, Frankish Knights. Looks like they're going to get them. Ah, they got my Cretans. Ran right through them. Ran right through them. Alright. Most of my cavalry is light cavalry. Hmm, Frankish Knights. 
I don't even think they've got many units I could pick off. All their infantry is pretty strong, looks like. Hmm, the bodyguard unit is very weakened. We didn't, uh, we did lose quite a few. I'm still trying to get him out. Very colourful units, aren't they? Right, you're out of ammunition. Uh, who could we go after? Right, somebody's actually attacking you. It's lesser knights. Oh, come on, Cretan archers, get out of there. Are oh, they broken? Well, that was trying to push through. Looks like we actually managed to see off most of their cavalry. Uh, my general should be in here somewhere, right? Oh, he's running through those stakes and getting killed off. Idiot. Uh, he lost a lot of men doing that. He's still losing men. How are you still losing men, you idiot? Right. He lost most of his unit. Right, I'm going to take those two off of skirmish just so they can fire at their, I think, general. My heavy cav. You're getting beat up. Alright. The general is now down to four. Let's see if we can finish him off. Alright. Don't worry about that one. Ah, they do have some crossbows that we can go after. You held out quite well. And we destroyed. Well, it looked like we did a lot of damage there. Well, we are still getting killed off. Now he's down to seven. I've got to maneuver him past all my own stakes. Now he's down to five. Yep, here comes our extra unit. Should be coming in from over there, I think. You should be running. Right. No, not the Navarese. They're actually quite tough. Come on over here. Actually capturing somebody. <laughs> well, it says those ones are wavering. It's those Pavise uh, crossbows. I hate them. They always give me so much trouble. Well, that's good. I mean, we are technically winning. Who do we have in here to kill off? Right, no one there. Right, uh, Frankish Knights. Ooh, we've still got 12 of those. I'm trying to find someone I can pick off. Like that unit. We've got lots of missile units. Is that going to be enough? He just went out 
an extra chevron. Right, who are we shooting at all the way over here? Only half the enemy force remain. All right, back off of those and let the archers shoot them. Right. Oh, we lost him. Ah, I thought he was going to make it through. He's a goner. He put up a good fight. Right. You did not get many javelins off, did you? No, you didn't. That's a shame. Maybe we'll get a man of the hour event out of it. You've done a good job, whoever you're fighting. Right, those are routing. Run those ones down. Right. Now you're getting some javelins off. Probably against that unit. Alright, who's running off over here? Yeah, it's disappointing because these did not use up much ammunition. Right, I've taken those ones off of skirmish. Now I need to put them back. Right, there's somebody running off over there. Yeah, we're going to get the victory. Long episode. Right, that one got away from you. Now, who is up here? If we can pin those in place with that cavalry, even for a short time, we can shoot some of them down. Hmm. I wonder. Should be able to get you through there. And same for you. Right. Looks like there's pretty much just that unit holding out. And here is little hooves. Uh, clattering on the uh, paving stones. Right. <clears throat> All those archers have a long way to go, don't they? Oh, got caught up again. Battle is in our favor. If we remain true, sure it is. Right, only one more unit out here somewhere. Is that that one? Yeah, right, he's down to two.
Right, you stopped for some reason. I'm sure I ordered you after him. Speed it all up. Shoot him, shoot him. While well, he's got his back turned and is distracted. And that's not going to save them. By the Lord above, our All right. Shame about that general, because he had a decent loyalty, didn't he? But we uh, got rid of that army finally. Mm, no. Oh, we did get a man of the hour. Right. We can get many of our troops over here. I think we're going to have to send them over. Voila. In there. Right. Retrain those as quickly as possible. There's that one over there. They did not come out. Oh, forget about Florence, they keep attacking me. Right, can we get better units? Yes, we can now get lots of units over here. Right, do I even want a building thing? I've got 400 corruption. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, New Patria. I think that's where I was getting a lot of my troops as well. Any corruption? Nope. Right, we can get bombards, can't we? Right, get that money back because uh, we just lost some troops. Right, well, thanks for watching this extended episode.